started the company, my prayers were to not have any problems and not to fail and, you know, just have a beautiful day every day. And that's very naive because now, now after so many years, I realized that the more problems you have, the more problems you overcome, the better you become. Problems are actually the way obstacles, failure is the way to success. The, the, you know, you learn a lot more from failures than you learn from actual successes. And, uh, you know, life is a process, it's not an event. When you say you are successful, you're measuring an event. Oh, you won this award or, you know, you're getting recognized for this thing that you did. Yeah, but that has many years of a bunch of failures and learning experience behind. So there is basically no way to become successful without failures, without problems. Having said that, that though, um, for me, one of the biggest failures that I had was back in 2011, before I was learning about culture, before I was learning about being in business for more than just uh, becoming successful. Um, basically, I was before, before 2011, I was completely focused on just gener generating as much wealth and money as possible, completely focused on the money, without even thinking what I was going to use the money for. As a result, I grew exponentially. We went you know, from five guys to 120 guys in two years. And that was my biggest failure, to be honest with you, because uh, once I reached the top, I went into a deep depression because I had no life. Um, I didn't see my wife and my kids for two years. I was traveling every three weeks. Um, crazy. I was working 15 hours a day. The work is not bad. I'm still working a lot today, but it's a different, it's a different mentality. I actually crashed in 2011, where the point where I almost had a heart attack because it was a meaningless goal. And once you reach it, you realize, what am I doing, right? And also, when you grow that fast, if you don't do it properly, you let people into your company that are not, that are not going to be good team players, or maybe they are, they are good technically, but they don't have the right attitude, and that creates a disease in your company. So from there, actually, what I did was I retired for a month. Uh, I went to Thailand. My doctor told me two things. She told me either you can take these pills and get, that you can get addicted if you take them for more than a month or you can change your lifestyle. So I, I'm, I, I quite remember that, that the same day where I talked talk to uh, Felix, my, my PMO director, he's my right hand, and I told him, listen, Felix, I have to go for a month. The company is yours. I don't know if I'm going to have a company when I come back, but I'm not going to turn on my phone. I'm not going to bring my laptop. I left to Thailand with my family for a month. I fixed my personal life first. And then that month is, it was my recent time when I realized I cannot do this just for money, for money's sake. I have to add value to, to the world. I have to add value to the people that work with me. I need to choose the right people. And funny enough, when I came back, I started implementing a lot of things. And, and that was the beginning of my learning, learning journal. I went back from 120 down to 10 people. And, and I stopped uh, looking for money for money's sake. What I started doing is I started trying to look for opportunities where I could learn, where I could add massive value to my clients, and where I could attract the right people into my company.